Hello, everybody. Well, we made it to oh, easy like Sunday morning, but it's Sunday afternoon. So uh, we got some great cards and we've had some great messages lately. Um, we are going to go into the new year, 2024, which is an eight, infinity. And what are we going to do? What is our resolution for us to do? Uh, I'm not doing any kind of, I'm going to lose weight. I've already quit smoking, so I don't need to do that and this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to make me as a resolution that I am going to change myself. I am going to work on myself and I am going to start to create my own garden of Eden. And I think we all need to think about that. Um, I got a lot of channeling uh, last night and I wrote a lot of stuff down. Um, so we are going to have an interesting uh, day today on this reading. Um, it's we're going in. This is this. I think this is probably going to be the last reading of 2023 that I do because I don't know if tomorrow I'm going to be able to do anything. I've got too much stuff to do tomorrow. So I told my husband last night, I didn't say Happy New Year to anybody because I was going to plan on coming on today, New Year's Eve. But you know what? I don't want to use the word happy because there's something about the word happy. And I know it's, I love the word happy. Okay. But we'll look at it this way. I always say on holiday, I just want to be happy. And people look at you like, how can I give that gift happy? It's like they don't understand what happy is. So should we say happy new year? Or should we say something else? Joy to the new year. Or, you know, I don't know. Uh, magical new year. I like magical new year. Magical new year sounds great to me. Um we got some amazing messages and I noticed the cards and the numbers that came out and I did some channeling when I was reading these cards. So I have a bunch of notes on this tablet that I was keeping track of uh, the numbers and the messages that I was getting. So I'm going to leave that there. Okay. And I'm going to do some readings. When we're done with the readings, we're going to go over the channeled messages. So if you've never been on my channel, uh, welcome. And my name is Fawn. Real name, not a nickname. Uh, I always say my parents were hippies back in the 60s. And then I laugh and I said, nah, they're not. They weren't. They were married and hunters and, and workers and middle class people. So uh it's just a just a name that they come up with and so um i channel messages uh people say well cards aren't channeling i've had somebody say well cards aren't channeling how can that be channeling cards are my tools to channel uh my pen and paper is my tools to channel um somebody might have tea leaves that's how they channel uh we all are a conduit uh, for source, for our ancestors, for our angels, the energy goes through us like a conduit. And when we listen and we do meditation and we pull ourselves out of this 3D world and go into the multi dimension and listen, that's when we get our messages. And we know that they're the right messages because they feel beautiful and amazing. And that's the kind of messages that we all want to get. So let's get started on this new, let's see, magical New Year's Eve. So we just started something new. How about that? What's interesting about these cards that we got, uh, they were all masculine but one big one okay and i seen something the other day that caught my eye and i've been saying we have to 
uh, balance the masculine, feminine, and the inner child. That is our goal. That is our mission right now. Let's say, let's say it's our mission because the Hopis have drawings on rocks and stuff. And I noticed somebody said the other day, they showed a drawing and it showed a picture on the one corner of the masculine, on the other corner of the feminine. And when they combined and balanced, they ascended. So when the cataclysmic thing came through, a lot of like the Atlanteans and the Hopi, the Hopi Indians, uh, a lot of them ascended. They balanced out their masculine, feminine, inner child and got aligned with the divine. And that's when they were okay. They just they just went into another multi-dimension. And that's what we're getting ready to do. We already are, we've already done the switching. We just have to realize what's going on around us and come to that balance. It's like that fork in the road where you realize you have to balance it all out. So we got a lot of masculine water signs today. Um, the one that we got was the, the uh, this is a 12, which goes down to a three. And it's the counselor of water, a time of question and mixed emotions. Look beyond the words to the emotions, mixed or confused emotions. Listen, listen here. Seek objective counsel. An emotional compl complex situation, a lack of empathy, an opportunity for understanding. Be receptive, not rejecting. Are feelings preventing a resolution? The counselor of water represents one who stands high, an elder advisor or a wise man or woman. Whom the king or queen calls upon to discuss their feelings regarding a situation or experience of concern. She or he is someone who is trusted. They're a caring, compassionate person who will listen attentively, only interrupt the flow to ask a question if there is need. Once the tale is told, the counselor offers her thoughts in an ob objective manner. Her role is not to give instructions, but to present alternatives and insight that will help the seeker understand the thoughts and feelings that may be clouding their judgment. You know, this reminds me of the reading we had yesterday. <clears throat> and it said the same thing. It said, seek someone. I said, seek someone that's not in the family or in your business or anything like that. Seek an outside perception of the whole situation. Tell your story. Make sure that that person is willing to listen uninterrupted, like they said, and not stop the flow only to ask a question. Because that way, that person can get the whole story. And they will give you probably a whole different perception of what you had. It's good. You can step back and look at different perceptions on it that you might not be seeing and look at the full spectrum of the view that gives you a better, uh, it'll give you a better decision-making process of uh, what your 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 tale is, your story. And it changes outcomes too, and probably for better because you've thought more about it and you've got somebody else's opinion on it. Someone out of the picture. She is an empathetic person skilled at stepping outside of herself to look through the eyes of others. She never judges and offers only compassion and the opportunity to understand the emotion to at, at playback. By asking the right questions, she helps people to come to their own conclusion about what feels right for them and how to proceed from that point. Uh, that is a good aspect. And I was just talking to my husband about that. When you hear a story from someone, that story has to really resonate with you. And you might not get their perception of it right then. But then you hear another perception of the same story from someone else. And you're like, wow. Okay, I never thought of it that way. And then you see a whole different spectrum of that. Um, it's like it changed completely. The whole story changed with just someone else's perception of it. So, yeah, um, that is a good uh, quality to take into the new year. 
thinking about it because right now we're in a time where people are overreacting so much. They're not looking at things. They're just overreacting. And we need to get out of the overreaction because the overreaction is not helping anything. It's actually hindering us from our evolution. Because in that, we got regeneration and we got the world number 21. And what's interesting about these two cards is we got a 12, which is a three. We got a 21, which is a three. And three is known as the master builder of the dreams. Uh, we'll go into that here a little later because we got a lot of cards that match today and it was pretty interesting. Uh, the world regeneration. The world shows that your life is regenerating and renewed as you finally find success you seek and celebrate your achievement. You may receive a particular reward for your efforts. The card also shows the completion of a phase, such as meeting a target or goal or finalizing a house, move, or other major projects. The world often comes up in reading to signify a relationship landmark, such as a wedding, anniversary, or renewing vows there are opportunities to travel now and if you are single have romantic adventures too celebrate what you have achieved and embrace new opportunities you will be full of energy and motivation the world is your oyster yeah we've got to go in this next phase of our journey with stepping back and thinking about the things before we react because right now we were in a reaction world where everybody's reacting to something and you can't say nothing. Tiptoe on the tulips because you might hurt somebody's feelings and burden someone with some emotion that you might have. We're regenerating, we're leveled up and we're getting wiser. And um, we're not going to go down that road anymore. We are beyond that where everything hurts our feeling type thing. We're, 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 we're beyond that. Everybody's going to hurt somebody's feelings sooner or later. You have to just uh, think about the way you perceived that feeling hurt. Did you perceive it wrong? You probably did. So. The other card we got. Was the mother. And I have to find her. And that is. A four. Love without condition. Now we got the unconditional love. We got a lot of love yesterday. We got the heart guardian. We got the the love. We got the um we got a lot. Oh, we got the heart source. We got a lot of love yesterday. And uh the, this is an unconditional love, also. Her womb is the void in which new life forms safe, nurturing, and protected by her body. She is the earthly universe in which a cosmic soul takes on physical form. There is no more sacred or intimate bond than the mother and child. She is the mother, nurturer, protector, and creator. She is the very essence of non-sexual intimacy, patience, compassion, unconditional love, and forgiveness, willing to place the needs of her children before her own, nor is that love reserved only for a child born of her womb. For the highest ideal of the mother is a woman who extends her unconditional love to all who dwell in the world around her without question of whether or not that love is deserved. The mother gives without hesitation or reservation. She is both teacher and guide, encouraging her children to reveal and nurture their talents. In this way, she gifts them with healthy levels of self-belief, self-esteem, and confidence. The mother is also symbolic of a fertile and abundant mind, a mind where ideas take root. The mother is willing to nurture those ideas and provide what is necessary in order for them to grow and blossom. Yeah, this is a beautiful feminine card. And we got a lot of masculine today, but we did get a lot of feminine too. But the feminine was surrounded by the masculine. So what that's telling me is this right here, she is the protector. And what is supposed to happen is the masculine is she's grounded. She's earth. She's all earth. 
She's everything. She's got the tortoise. She's water. She's air. She's everything. She's birth. And then you've got the masculine water flowing around her, the protection, the counselor. And then you've got the four of water, which is another masculine around the mother. So you have earth with masculine around the mother protecting her. And they're flowing around her with their water to protect her like a womb. Because that that's what it is. She is the feminine. She is the all there is of the feminine. And there is a masculine and feminine and all there is of both. It's, it's, it's bad. It's got to be balanced. That's the harmonic. That's the harmonic harmony that the body and the mind and the spirit will go through when you are completely balanced and leveled out with the masculine, the inner child and the feminine. And that's a really hard place to get to when you're living in a 3D heavy duty world right now. It's hard to grasp that. But you will. This card, the four of water, it says you are beautiful. Be aware of weaknesses, but focus on strength, mistake, and opportunity to learn. Let go of the idea, idea of perfection. Love yourself for who you are. Happiness at another ex another's expense. The emotional cost of your action. Uh you are worthy and deserving of all that you dream of, but remember, so is everyone else. What if your joy comes at the expense of another person? Can you stand tall and proud and have respect for yourself? If your happiness carries the price of another person's heartbreak or failure, can you take genuine delight in your circumstances? Unintentional actions that cause hurt or one thing and can be forgiven. But what of the emotional consequences of an act done with awareness and intent? The four of water, when it appears, cautions you against vanity, arrogance, selfishness, and self-importance and symbolizes a need to look yourself in the eye. Are you about to choose a path that leads to another's distress or downfall? If the answer is yes, be mindful of the fact that the universal law of cause and effect will hold court and sit in judgment. As always, there will be reward and consequence offered. If your choice is to continue forward, knowing that you may bring emotional anguish to another, be sure that the reward is far greater than the price you may end up. You may end up paying. If you are at a crossroad, don't do it. You still have the opportunity to answer no and have your action reflect your choice. Wow. And you know what? What's I'm what's interesting about this card is if you look, he's looking up into this and he's reflecting, but there's two faces. That's the choice. It's it's which choice is he gonna take? But if you've noticed, he's got one eye missing. So he's only got one eye. Okay, to observe the two choices with the third eye up there wide open. And you have the mother that came up before that, which is telling you unconditional love. Okay. And you had the counselor come up. We had the counselor come up before that, which is getting someone else's perception on the situation before you make a choice. And when you make the choice, use the feminine unconditional love before you harm someone with your choice. So that's what these three cards are telling us. When we go forward with our choices, get someone else's perception on the thought that is in your mind before you react. Okay, the counselor. When you get that thought in your mind and you get that different perception, 
look at the different choices that you're going to make and make sure they're compassionate and loving, unconditional loving, to not harm someone else. So that is what that's telling us. That is a big message. And with the with the mother, now I didn't pull the clarifier, with the mother, which is another interesting fact. We're going to go on and explain this. Now we did get the world with the counselor regeneration, which the world is telling us that we need to, with the counselor, we need to regenerate on that question and think about it and get an outside, okay, opinion before we react. And then we've got the mother and she got the king of swords, which is ambition, okay? Look to the fact before you make decisions. That is telling you exactly what I just said. This is the compassion with the compassion card, okay? And you went through the counselor and got a different opinion. And it regenerated and you got to the mother with, with compassion. And don't make a decision right here. Look at the facts. And this one right here is looking at both faces and making the choice, but he's got one eye. So that's why he didn't see it as clear. He had the counselor helping him. So this was a really interesting story at this point. And with that, we got the five of pentacles. And this is on the the choice card, the four of water, okay, the five of pentacles is the clarifier. You do have support, but you may be looking in the wrong places or to the wrong people. Go beyond your usual network and find the help and comfort you need. Isolation, money problems, reflection, bias, fear, risk, and relationship, this can all be this. So what's that? What did you get out of that? I got out of that that... I told you to go out of your normal circle. Do not ask family, friends, uh, the the your people that you work with. Go out of your normal circle. This is telling you that. Which came with the choice. Go out of your normal circle to the counselor, okay? And regenerate the question. But you got that with that, okay? When you're thinking of that answer, you're going to use the mother, the compassion with that, okay? Because the king of swords, ambition, he's telling you to, you know, be careful when you're making that decision. And this one is the choice with one eye, already went to the counselor and is looking at it and letting it flow. And the pentacles is there telling you that don't go to the wrong people. Go outside of your circle to help you answer your question. So that is a great call on the channeled messages of the cards for the last, probably the last reading before the new year. It is, yeah, it's Christmas. It's New Year. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve. Huh? <laughs> it is the last reading of the year. I'm still back there in 2003 swimming in a fishbowl. Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> now, Remember I said we had a lot of masculine around, okay? Well, we got, and a lot of water. We got the king of water, okay? And that is a 14, which goes down to a five. We just had the five of pentacles. Now we have the five in the king of water. And that's telling you calm, com contemplative insight, fluid balance, protective, nurturing, uh, jealousy and protect. This is a safe harbor in the storm card. So you just came through the storm of choice. You've got the counselor giving you uh, an unbiased opinion and perspective of the whole situation. You're thinking about the choice before you just go in. You're using compassion with the mother. And now you have the safe harbor in the storm. Let go of the gender bias, strength born of adaptability. Be present in your relationships, a need for excitement, 
Uh, marry critical thinking and emotional logic. Allow your feelings to guide a decision and address a cause for jealousy. So there's all kinds of trigger moments in this card that we need to look at. And uh, he can represent a feeling of boredom. Uh, he's a strong man who is a calm and per protective, like a safe harbor in the storm. He is a nurturing, caring father who embraces no gender specific role. He is willing to be both mother and father, nurturer and protector, homemaker and provider. You know what? This is going into the new year, okay? The 2024, which is the infinity symbol, okay? This is telling us that we have to go, we have to get our infinity. We have to get our oneness. We have to get balanced and aligned. And this is this right here at the end of the counselor, the mother, the water, uh, the you know, the four of water going around and the five of pentacles telling you the, the abandonment and uh, the king of water, which will be the masculine or the feminine. And uh, that's where we're going into. We have to balance, you know, even if we're a father raising children or a mother raising children, we need to combine those strengths. And uh, because you can do such a better job when you combine your masculine, inner child, and feminine. And that is what this reading is telling me. Because with balance, we go into the new year like rock stars, seriously, with all of our power. And all this water that is flowing around the mother right now and the masculine is telling me that that's it. That's our answer. That's our mission. And we have to listen to this. Um, he loves to use this sense because he, too, is so elicit an emotional response. And he is willing to look within and explore those emotions to increase his understanding. He is a person who has successfully married critical thinking with emotional logic. The process of using one's emotion and feeling in a logical manner to become more knowledgeable and aware of uses this to his advantage. He is aware that all decision making has an emotional element and that no decision can be balanced without emotions and feelings being taken into account. He has learned from his emotions and uses that knowledge in a productive and constructive manner. Are you considering your feelings in your decision making process? Now is the time to do so. The king of water is multifaceted in meaning. He symbolizes an approach time of peace and calm where you will have time and space to simply be and grow. He also represents a need to let go of emotion bias, gender bias, and to embrace the awareness that this paradigm belongs to the past. A man can be just as sensitive and vulnerable, nurturing and supportive as any woman. A man can be just as close closed off and insensitive as a man. Both can be communicative with regard to their feeling and both can be uncommunicative. Both sexes have the same qualities. How emotional, open, or close a person is has nothing to do with gender and everything to do with the individual and their journey. We have been conditioned to believe that men and women are emotionally different when they are in truth the same. As with other court cards, the king of water can also represent a person in your life who embodies the traits of the king. If you are in need of his counsel or a safe harbor, seek him out in this time. Yeah, the first card we got was the counselor. Uh, that is an amazing card. And what's interesting, <laughs> you know, I never thought about it when the cards were flying out, when we got both of these cards, because the king goes down to a five, it's a 14. And the card that we got with the king, the complimentary card, was a 14, which goes down to a five. And it's the angel of the ocean, and it's healing. And we just covered our mission. That was the best read. I got goosebumps, literally. <laughs> Seriously. That, when I seen them coming out, I knew what they meant, but I didn't put the story together till I started saying it and had all my channeled notes down. <laughs> and this is amazing because this 
tied it all together. Our whole mission is to balance ourselves out. It's to work on our masculine, our inner child, and our feminine, and having them in complete align, align balance and alignment. And this is the card of the healer, negotiator, manager, or parent who must soothe the tempest of demands to keep the peace. To do this, you may need the patience of a saint or an angel. To support you, the angel of the ocean asks you to look to your spiritual side to see the lessons your situation offers you rather than become overwhelmed by others' emotions or stress out, stressed out by their complaints or needs. An additional meaning is healing past trauma, balancing mind and body or balancing your finances. So budgeting and financing plans may take priority now. Also, the angel of the ocean can be a sign of angelic guidance. Now, know that your angels are here to protect you through this demanding time. You'll need to work a little magic now to reconcile opposites. Be patient and compassionate and you will get everything done. Balance, reconciliation, patience, flow, compassion, finances, and angels. We've had all the masculine water signs that are flowing around the mother and all the counselor telling us that we need to get an outside uh, Okay, that was an amazing card. Uh, I'm telling you, this reading has just been so eye-opening. I didn't realize it was that much. Yeah, I did realize it when I started channeling the messages. Um, we also got the number 16, the destiny card, which is another number five. Um so we've had fives like the last four times. Destiny, what is our 2024 infinity destiny going to be? Your destiny is to become whole and connected. Your destiny is to lead a life with meaning and purpose. Step inside and explore heart and mind. Discover your gifts and talents, a sense of purpose and confidence. Astral healing may be required. Break the chain. Remember your dreams. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Sometimes the most important destiny remains hidden. Your destiny may influence generations to come. Overcome the trials and obstacles. The destiny card represents the eighth reason for being. There it is. Infinity. The eighth reason for being. We have got every this is like aloha 2024 you know it's like we're leaving that crazy 2023 to embrace your destiny your destiny is twofold you have a universe destiny and a personal destiny your universal destiny is to become whole and connected to find your center to overcome all that destroys your peace to face your fears let go of hurts and love yourself in your life with unreserved delight. You also have a personal destiny, and that destiny involves seeking and following your bliss. Your destiny is to find and lead a life that has meaning or purpose. But your destiny is not going to be found out there in the world. You must step inside and explore your heart and mind. Your destiny is not predetermined. It is a choice you will make based on your inherited gifts and talents. To meet your destiny, you must first discover and recognize what those gifts and talents are and then work to use them for the benefit of self and others. To know you have a destiny or multi-destinies can give a sense of purpose and confidence. It can bring you joy, peace, and fulfillment. However, your journey toward meeting your destiny can be full of obstacles and trials. Like the quest of old, this is your quest. But instead of seeking an intangible holy grail, you move towards something tangible and real. There are activities and interests that inspire your passion. 
and love that make you feel complete and imbue you with a sense of rightness. In is these things that you are destined to do. It could be gardening. It could be painting. It could be fixing broken things or repurposing them. It could be healing. It could be protection. It could be anything. But the key to recognizing it is how it makes you feel and what you are willing to do in order to make it a key part of your life. You are never too old or too young to seek your divine purpose. Yes. We have a divine purpose. We came on this earth to, we had a mission. And we have to figure out the mission. And the card that came with that was the Knight of Pentacles, loyalty. Hard graft may not be exciting, but the results will bring you great fulfillment. Order, planning, trust, work, prosperity, investment, and progress. The knight is not dashing. He's slow and steady, planning his moves with care. He may not be charming, but he is loyal and trustworthy. So any offer he makes can be taken seriously. He often appears in readings to show business investment and projects that have good future potential and property. He is associated with choosing the perfect home. This is the right time to make a serious decision about your long-term future. Yeah, uh, we have to think about the long-term future. Everybody does. We have got some amazing cards today, and it really uh, did some great things, in my opinion. It's giving us some great direction. We got the 16th, Abundance. Abundance is a state of plenty. Abundance is feeling. Abundance surrounds you. Have faith and conviction. Complete trust is required. Just got the loyalty card. Your rainy day is today. Determine your goals and reasons and set intentions. A state of contentment, not influenced by external factors. Relax and enjoy yourself. Generosity ripples outwards. The more you give, the more you receive. Appreciate and be grateful. What is abundance? Abundance is defined as a state of plenty. When the abundance card appears, it sig signifies a feeling of abundance, of appreciation that opens you to the abundance that surrounds you. In turn, this feeling gives rise to an abundance consciousness. A person with an abundance consciousness is one who is always hopeful, seeks a fair and equal exchange of energy, and sees potential and opportunity in all experiences. To create an o and open ourselves to abundance and embrace an abundant consciousness is our seventh reason for being and potentially one of the more challenging purposes because it requires absolute faith and conviction. It requires complete trust. We have to do a trust fall with ourselves. We have to start trusting our own intuition and our guidance from because from our ancestors, from source, from our spirit guides, from around us, from ourselves. Um, because the last card we got with abundance was the eight of cups, which is infinity, which is change. Follow your heart and go forward. All these cards today have told us an amazing story. To me, it told an amazing story. It topped off the end of the year with the greatest story of our lives. It's the balancing alignment story that we need to be at. Because now those were out of the Dreams of Gaia uh, Oracle and the Oceanic Tarot. And we've got the Practical Magic. We got one card, and this card just blew out. I mean, it, it was like it shot across, and I had to go retrieve it. Number two, New Beginnings. Lady of the Air. Now, we got water flowing around Mother Earth, and now we've got it flowing through the air. And she is beautiful. With the butterflies, she is literally holding the energy of the moon up. She has made it to Shambhala. Shambhala. 
she is at the Golden City. Embrace the opportunities that are within your grasp. Leap into a new adventure and take advantage of the energy of a fresh start. The energy of new beginnings is about moving forward, letting go of regrets and starting again. Free of preconceptions and limitations, this energy supports beings who are who you are now in this moment, not who you were in the past and casting off judgment in order to become the person you want to be. This card invites you to embrace inspiration, attune yourself with the breath and life force of nature and focus the power of your mind. It is time to decide that new aspiration you want to dream into being, whether it's a new friendship, love, health, goals, projects, directions, a new career or life, and go after it. Whatever it is, new beginnings hold the magic of a blank slate. So be open to all that is being offered to you at this time. When this card appears, it indicates that new opportunities surround you. Take advantage of this and set your intentions. What do you want to bring into your being? What do you want to change or do over? Once you are clear on the specific intentions, consider whether you have the emotional and physical space in your life for these goals. To take root and flourish if you don't make some. To accept something new, you have to let go of what is holding you back. Self-doubt and old beliefs, preoccupation in the past and an unhealthy relationship a disappointing job, an upsetting situation to create room for it. This may be a little uncomfortable. The old and familiar can be hard to break away from and a fresh start can sometimes be disguised as a painful ending, but you are ready to embrace change. So acknowledge any loss you feel, then look for the silver lining and the opportunity for growth and visualize how wonderful your life will be once you take action. Don't miss your chance for a new beginning because you are too busy or distracted to recognize it. And don't let it slip away through ap apathy and indecision. Be prepared to put in the work to make it happen. Then enjoy the rewards. So are you ready to embrace a new adventure? Do you have the courage to cast off the old so you can welcome the new? You don't have to wait until January 1st or a new month or even a Monday, you can choose to make a fresh start at any moment. You can choose a fresh start right now. Harness the potential and possibilities swirling around you. Sow the seeds of what you want to achieve. Bless them with your energy and intent and dedicate yourself to this process. New beginnings herald renewal and discovery. Grab them with both hands and celebrate with gratitude for the hope they bring. I love that card I did not realize I, I never I didn't read the card and I think this was a beautiful card breathe the courage to tackle new beginnings and the knowledge of the strength into every cell of your body become aware of the air blowing over you and around you clearing your mind and sweeping out the cobwebs of old thought patterns hurts and limitations Allow this powerful element to carry away stagnant energy, physical or emotional, and awaken you to the immense potential you have inside. Yes. Start working on yourself with the new year. Start meditating. Start making that in your life and start balancing ourselves out. Because then you will find your Shambhala. Now, uh, this is the Angels and Ancestors, and we got two beautiful cards with the Angels and Ancestors. And you know what's interesting is we got a lot of Knights today. We got the Knight of Pentacles, we got the Knight of, the King of Swords, and we got the Knight. Be brave and honest. We're going into this new year, and ladies, we have to pull that masculine out, and men. You have to pull that feminine compassion out and you, we all have to balance this out. We can do this. This is our mission. We have to get completely balanced and level. 
Do the right thing. Even if it isn't the easiest option, stand for what you know to be right and true. The knight is a knight in shining armor dedicated to the crown that his sword defends, inspired by the Knights Templar. He is a protector of the Holy Grail and therefore of your spiritual growth and expansion. Yes. He represents the warrior in you, whether you are male or female, the energy is within you. His sword and armor show you he is courageous and strong. But if you look closely, you will see he has a tear running down his face showing his willingness to be vulnerable and his love for what he protects. Wow, didn't I just say that? Holy, these channeled messages, I'm telling you, if you work on yourself, you will get the same channeled messages that I'm doing because I'm, I'm catching myself as I'm saying this. Like, did I really say that? Did, did, did we just read that card that I just said before I read the card? The energy of respect is important right now. You are being encouraged to figure out what is important to you and what you stand for. If you are in a space where there's opposition, you are being guided to follow through with integrity. And because even if it seems this will slow your progress, your rewards will be much more abundant. And we got the abundant card. You are being surrounded by a light of bravery to help you. This card also brings justice. If you are longing for justice, please know that the universal energies are working to bring everything back in order and that you don't need to force anything through with your will. If you have made any mistakes recently, it's important to take ownership of them so that you can align yourself with improving the situation. If you are feeling the need to defend your spiritual path at this time, back down and let it protect you. That is a great message. Wow. And after I read this one, I'm going to go over what we, what I, the channeled messages I have with the numbers that we got off those cards. Um, actually, I'm going to go over it right now. Um, I think we need to do that. We had uh, two threes in the beginning. We had the three of water, and then we had the world 21, which is a three. Three is divine perfection. Three is known as the master builder. This dream uh, shows that when your guardian angels want you to connect with your inner growth and internal wisdom and manifest the life you want to live, that's when that through the threes will appear, and we got all kinds of threes today. Now, we also got a lot of fives. We got the five of pentacles. We got the 14, uh, the king of water, which goes to a five. We also got the uh, angel of ocean, which is a 14, which goes down to a five. Uh, we also got we also got the uh, pentacles. So five is growth and it's change. And five shows up when you are about to enter a phase of self-discovery closer to your soul mission. Yeah, I was getting so many channeled messages like, like that when all those were coming. And 10, we got a lot of knights, and knights are tens, um, and kings, they're all tens. And according, uh, tens, you have completed a cycle in your life, and a new chapter is about to begin. According to the alchemist, the emerald tablet is a portal to the soul of the world. It is a positive unifying force that leads all things to their destiny. And we got the destiny card. So that was about the cards that we just got from the tarot and the dreams of Gaia Oracle. All those cards collided together and gave this amazing reading. So that destiny card that we got had all kinds of things to do with the Emerald Tablet. As I just read, it is a portal to the soul of the world. It is a positive unifying the infinity symbol force that leads all things to their destiny. So that is leading us to the destiny. And the tens, you have completed a cycle in your life and a new chapter is about to begin. So yes, this was an amazing reading and we got some amazing channeled messages through this reading we've all been working on a lot of things through these messages and i think we've all got a lot of things because we've got the shaman trust in higher forces 
Trust in your angels, guides, and ancestors. If you have given your power away, claim it back. Inspired by the Sami and indigenous people of the northern Norway, Sweden, and Finland, this card represents those people who have a connected to earth and the hidden realms. Many shamans believed that when there was an illness or disease, it was because a person's power had been left behind somewhere or a negative pattern had installed itself in them. In trance, they would travel to the underworld to recall this power and remove the demon. If this card comes to you, it's because you need to do some release work with lower energies or with your lack of trust in the spiritual energies that are guiding you. The shaman will aid you in your quest. There are spiritual allies working in your favor and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you allow them to send your intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct the situation and come out on top. The shaman card also shows that you have shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guides in an extremely personal way. Yeah, we need to get in touch with our guides. Seriously. We got so many messages today. I just can't get over this reading. Okay, I had to go put a jacket on. It's chilly down here in, in northern Florida. We've had some really cold weather. Okay, it's getting better. We got another eight, another infinity. And we got live in the world as a dreamer, create a future paradise. She, you know, she's just daydreaming and she's beautiful. And that's the future that we want right there. The dreamers of this world are active creators of their own lives and futures in close touch with their imagination and in inventiveness. A powerful creative potential awaits each of us when we tap into these aspects of ourselves. With its perfectly balanced energy, each day dream has the potential for fulfillment. There is no ego and no relentless desire, just the pure feeling of dreaming itself. Dreamers are deeply connected with their own magic, whether they are aware of it or not. When they dream, they let go of everything and enter a space where only magic exists. Keep your bold, brave, and beautiful dreams safe in your heart. They are worth more than all the riches of this world. Dream with every fiber of your being for the benefits of all living creatures. It is your mission, indeed, your responsibility to imagine in your dreams a world like a paradise. Dream a better world for us all. Such a world can ultimately only be created by those capable of imagining it. This is the ancient cosmic law of analogy. As within, so without. Only what is within us can be manifested in the outside world. Give your dreams and the images you see in the mind's eye even greater power by experiencing them more intensely so that they can guide you towards your potential. This card indicates that you are in a time in which dreams have more creative power than ever before. Your feelings and emotions are the magic that will make your dreams come true more quickly. Make use of their light and give in to your dreams. Dream a paradise for all living things. Visualize it every day and intensify these dreams with the helpers suggest. Your helpers for the next 21 days, the power animal is the otter, the herbal essence oil is the sandalwood. The healing crystal is a mokit marble. And the number is eight. We've got a lot of infinity symbols today. Eight tells you that now is the time for harmony, calm, and a place of retreat. You have been given the gift of light that opens your mind and delivers the strength to create something that will last for all time. Should you want to do so, number eight's energy field opens your etern eternity for you. It is renewal, paradise, spirituality, calm, mindfulness, and the completion of transformation. 
we are transforming and i think the new year is going to bring amazing things we got two cards we got the Acturian light codes evolutionary downloads recalling power and future thinking Arcturus, Arcturus is a giant red star that is among the brightest stars seen from the northern hemisphere. It is around 25 times larger than our sun and can be found just beyond the Big Dipper. Many believe that there are light beings living on a blue planet orbiting Arcturus who are in the fifth or an even higher dimension. Some think they could be a prototype for what is possible on planet Earth. They are described as blue beings for when the page doesn't want to give up. For when they appear to those who can see them clairvoyant, they are often blue skin or emanating blue light in their auric field. The Arcturian race are here to help those on Earth who feel called to facilitate healing and to move beyond draconian and ways of being. They guide us to re realize that we have a great opportunity to evolve beyond these limit limited states. And if we don't, we will be stuck on a karmic wheel for thousands of years before we get our next opportunity. If you feel called to the Arcturians or this information, it could indicate a past future incarnation on the Arcturian planet or that you have Arcturian guides working with you. You can evolve into a greater state of being now. This begins with how you approach even the most mundane of tasks in your own little universe. Show up in ways that you've never shown up before. Instead of checking out of this planet, it's time to check in. Instead of feeling that life is happening to you, realize that you have a huge part to play. Recall your power, realize that you are part of the evolutionary of humanity, and it is time to become the leader you were born to be. It doesn't matter if you're leading yourself or a group, a large group. The key is to create more loving ways of doing things. Honor the ideas of thoughts that you have been having recently. If you have been hearing high-pitched noises, seeking fl seeing flickers of light, or sensing that you are being visited by beings in your sleep, know that you are receiving downloads from heaven. Arcturians are with you. Now, we also got the I am present. Light body activation, assess ass assessing the divine within. That's what it's pointing to, the divine within. The I am presence is frequent, frequently mentioned in the ascending master teachings. It is the individual's presence of the divine that rests within us all. Personally, I see no difference between the I am presence and what other people call the inner teacher, teacher or higher self. It's the aspect of divinity that lo lies within us, offering us great wisdom. It's the inner Buddha or Christ consciousness. It's the part of our soul that has never forgotten that it's connected to divine love. Even when our faith is challenged, there, there's a part of us that knows there's something out or in there, and it's the I am. This card is the gateway that allows you to reflect upon, it is the gateway that allows you to reflect upon the fact that this incredible, infinite, divine being is within you, always aligned with within love and always offers wisdom for a long time the i am has been dormant and we have been encouraged to believe we are insignificant and powerless but the more we connect with the divine the more we realize that it's resting gently within us we are the divine expressing itself we are a faucet of the god particle having an individual experience but we are part of the whole you are experiencing a great shift which is helping you understand yourself in ways that previously impossible. This is an exciting time you are connecting with the highest form of intelligence within you. 
The body of light within you is growing brighter and you are becoming aware of your own actions and choices affecting the unfolding of your future. The bright light you are is expressing itself unapologetically. Yeah, uh, that's what's going to happen. We are uh, connecting to the power within and we know it. Now that we know it, we know it. We can't forget it. I am going to, let me see what I have here. Okay. I'm going to read the messenger oracle first before the divine master. Uh, the, this is the one, the messenger oracle. So. The first card that we got was trust in magic. And I love that card. Magic is the mysteries and coincidental. It is at the heart of those moments of synchronicity and knowing. It is woven into the awareness that there is more to life than what you can see. It is born of that moment when you step without fear and with loving heart into the void. Voice your desire and have great spirit send his message to show you the way. Trust in magic. It is real and it surrounds you. I love that. That's a great message for us all. Share your thoughts, the dragon. You have hopes, dreams, and goals and ideas. Do not guard your ideas, jealousy, nor keep them locked within for fear that another may steal them or offer ridicule instead of support. It is time to share your vision. Tell great spirit and Gaia of your dreams and hopes so they may send you what you need. Speak of your dreams to others connect with those who share your goals and hopes for they may be able to help you realize your dreams sooner yeah that's what we're doing we're all sharing this experience with everybody and the last card we got was change is unavoidable and he is all earth and he's got the the black egg with the shiny on it and the butterfly And he's got a snake around him that's shedding its skin. Change is unavoidable. Every second of every day you undergo change. Your perception is altered by what you see, feel, and experience from one moment to the next. Your body ages and moves closer to death with every breath. Autumn will always come to end the bounty of summer. And the new hope of spring will always follow the winner. Change is all around you. Do not let your fear bind you to the past and prevent you from enjoying your present and future. Stop fighting. You cannot resist the inevitable. So choose instead to embrace it with acceptance and peace. Yeah, we've been fighting too much. It, the whole world has been fighting about something. It's getting ridiculous. We're all trying to change somebody and it's not working. We, now we need to start changing ourselves. Now, the first one we got was Quinn Yin. Enlightened action. Choose compassion. Move forward with grace. Yeah. Um, I think we all, all of us, masculine men and women, need to work on our masculine and feminine very deeply in our inner child. And that's what she is in the child. She's got the lotus at her heart. And we know what the lotus is. Quinn Yin sometimes is a being of pure compassion and love, who has loved the world over, especially in the East. She is part of the Buddhist tradition, but are very similar to the Western concept of angels, beings of light and brilliance, who are willing to do anything they can. The dog's out there giving his opinion on something. To lead those who call on them into a space of peace and harmony. Quinn Yin has grace and pearl white light surround her. She can help us step into an embrace of care, forgiveness, and compassion. If we have been hurt or disrespected by another person, she will help us move into a non-reactive space so that we can stay connected to the light as we move forward. 
If you're finding someone or something difficult at this time, the best way you can move forward is by going beyond seeking to understand why something is the way it is or something is the way they are. It's time to move beyond the behavior, mistake, or challenging that are happening around you. Don't be pulled into the misery and fear that is coming to you from an outside source. Refuse to operate on that level. Choose to take enlightened action. Wait a minute. Okay. Thought I was getting some other message coming in. Hang on. Refuse to operate on the level. Choose to take enlightened an action for the sake of your own inner peace. Know that you can be compassionate and forgiving without having to excuse someone else's behavior. It's more about stepping into your own path and recognizing that you cannot allow your own wellness and peace to be affected by someone else's behavior or by the outcome of a situation that is beyond your control. Choose to move forward in your life with grace. Realize that if you allow yourself to get pulled in, it will only cause more hurt and anguish. And the best, more enlightened act you can perform is to move on with grace and forgiveness. As your North Star, the energy of Quinn Yin is here to guide you in a com composed, light-filled way. Yeah, I think we all need to use compassion more than anger. I think anger has been too much in our world lately. Now, this is a very beautiful card. This is pronounced Dwal Kul. Dwal Kul is a divine, this is the divine mission. Enlightened action, make choice from the heart. Also known as the Tibetan Buddhist master who is said to have had many incarnations, including as one of the original devotees of the Buddha and as one of the three wise men who honored the birth of Jesus with frankincense, gold, and myrrh. He is one of the Mahatmas presented in the work of Helena Blavatsky, who was one of the first Western channelers to share information on the Ascending Master. Dwal Kool, Kool's purpose is to guide humanity towards a more enlightened and compassionate experience. He is one of the Lamas residing in the etheric retreat of Shambhala, a city of light. Hidden in the Himalayas, many of the Lamas are the spiritual guides of the light workers on earth. Wow, I love that card. With this card, you are being guided to know that your current situation is an opportunity to evolve as a spiritual being. Have a human experience. Think beyond your current needs and try to see the bigger picture. Be compassionate in your choices and actions and open to see the other person's point of view. Let go of any selfish desire or need that may not serve you in the long run, for this will help you take more enlightened steps forward. There is a divine mission in your current circumstances with spiritual guidance are around you at this time and encouraging you to see how far you have come. See that for yourself and understand how you've evolved. You have all it takes to move on and move up. Let go of any fears of loss and limitations. This is just your ego testing your ability to transcend fear. Let your heart lead the way. This has been an amazing reading for the end of 2023. I literally am going to have to listen to this reading again to figure out how blown away I am with this reading, folks. We are going in. Look at the sun just emanating in here. We are going into a beautiful, uh, can you tell I didn't get any sleep last night? <laughs> I've got wrinkles right here under my eyes. They're like, oh, uh, I didn't get much sleep last night. I did a lot of dreaming and waking up and dreaming and waking up and channeling these messages. Uh, these messages came in. I, I did my midnight meditation and the, as the cards were flying out, I was writing and getting channeled messages. So. It was a long night last night. 
to get these messages for our ending of 2023. Good riddance, bon voyage. Now we're going into 2024, number eight, infinity, aloha. A beautiful, new, magical new year is what we're going to have tonight at midnight. We're going to release all of the past. We're going to go into the new year just feeling great and all magical. That's my wish for all of us. And that's what I'm going to manifest. When I do my manifesting, I'm going to manifest that we have a beautiful, happy, magical new year. And all of our changes, just we wake up and we're just feeling it. So that's what I wish for all of us. And it, many health. Oh, by the way, speaking of health, I had a dream about a year and a half, two years ago, and I covered it with another lady on a video that her channel got taken down. But I had seen where we are going to have healing rooms. Um, they've been talking about med beds for years now. Nobody, People have seen things, but nothing major that's going to do drastic healing other than a pill. We do have technology that is going to come out. I have seen it um, in my dreams and channeled the messages. And it's going to be frequency and light healing. And what we will have is I've seen we will have a room in our home that you will go in when you're feeling drained of energy or something's wrong. And we will be able to go in and replenish our energy and our healing with sound and light. Um, so that is, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be med beds. I think it's going to be healing in our home. We won't have to go anywhere to get the uh, we won't, we won't age like we are doing. Um, there'll be a lot of things that are changing in the future and we can look forward to that. Uh, we can look forward to a lot of things. So I love everybody and may every step in your journey be magical. You know what? Just be you. And you know what? Have a really magical new year. And I'll see you on the other side.